How many of you guys have seen our, uh, our video yet? Yeah, it's us. Don't fuck up. Okay, so some of you. Um, so in that in that video, we uh, we were sort of promoting the use of this stance because it's sort of a basic all-around stance. But there's actually a lot a lot more that you can do out there. So um, I guess the, uh, the the first variation of that would be really just to put your, your weapon forward. And we, we sort of went into that a little bit. And I, I can show you on on a bias. You know, if I have my uh, shield foot forward, this is what my range is. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> this is the face. This is what my range is basically. Then without without really changing the position of my, my body, I just switch speed. Then all of a sudden, I've got another six inches. And of course, you know, I I, I am more more vulnerable on this side. You know, you can just sort of slide it right there. Yeah, or underneath. Yeah. So that's something that you're going to have to watch out for. You can also vary your hand position too. Uh, like instead of just just here, you can actually do like this. Here, I have, more, um, I have a better protection, and my, my hand actually is uh, better able to attack this side because it's sort of higher up. Or um, also going for the uh, the leg shot. That, that we talked about in the video, like that, not in the ground. <laughs> okay, um, Omega, why don't why don't you show them something else? Um, yeah, yes. Yeah, it's really awesome. Fun. What's the your weapon put forward? With the punch shield. I'm oh, sorry, guys. Um, if you stand here, oh, really close, oh, oh, shield, whoa, good. I'm pretty much protected, and even if he decides to go high, I have my hands here for blocking, and I can counter attack. So with pretty much all around, and from here, you can move to the side really easily, off your back foot. It's all centered. Like it's Yeah, you centered. really got to keep your balance. It's really good. It's about good stepping and moving away from your, away from your opponent. And it's a simple step, it increases his range crazy. Yeah. Without like really doing much, you know, coming from here to here isn't hard. And a lot of times your opponent doesn't even realize it. So you're here, you switch, now you've got all that extra range. And he probably didn't pick up on See, we, we, when you're fighting a lefty, if he's fighting with a uh, sword side forward, it's basically the same fight just with a little bit more range because your open side is his open side too. So it's basically when you fight a lefty, just swing really hard at his left side. Or at, you know what I mean? It's whoever gets there fastest. But here, as a lefty, it's just more attack options, but I'm a lot more vulnerable, you know? Whereas with a righty, when you're uh, weapon side forward, you're still a little bit more protected. You know? So it's actually safer, I think, for a righty to go weapon side forward than for a lefty. But it's it's a good option. Like if that guy was doing it. <laughs> no, uh, that's it's a really quick little trick too. And there's also nothing wrong with alternating a lot. Yeah. Like I am a predominantly right leg forward fighter. But if Magnus is like about to encroach on me, I will fall back. To the and now he's defending. Yeah. Yeah. And then once he recoils an attack, I can step back and throw more range. Yeah. Get attack in there. Yeah, and in, in many fights, you'll actually, you know, when you when you see an, an opponent just in front of you, you can think about where, where his openings are and what stance will allow you to, to exploit that the best. So you'll probably. I mean, in, in some fights, I find myself shifting stances mm -hmm. several times to work to see what looks like a good opening. If you're fighting um, your right leg forward and their left leg forward, like fighting with you, okay. it leaves this shot a lot more open for you to then. Because if he wants to take my leg, if I can try, like, just it's a lot easier to go here because it's a little yeah. bit longer of a reach. Instead of having to reach way out here for it, it's just... Yeah. Instead of having to reach all the way across for it. So that's a good for like if you just want to step in, like you're fighting here, you see it, you can step in quick. Yep. And when you start getting used to moving your feet around, you'll notice you get hit in the legs obviously less, but your shoulders you'll get hit less too. Because a lot of fighters compensate for the, their lack of footwork with dropping their shield low, which increases this shot. But the, when you feel comfortable enough to keep your shield this high, or like these guys, I'll never do a round shield. But 
these guys have much better footwork than me. But um, when you start feeling that comfortable, you won't get hit in the shoulder as much, and you'll be down, you know you'll be out of range of their leg attack. So it leaves you just offensive. Always, yeah, always, no matter what. It's more of a basic thing, but no matter what, have your shield, your uh, shoulders covered when you're moving. Because when you move, that's when you're most successful. Uh, successful. Yeah, to uh, shoulder attacks because you're rolling back a lot. But always keep you covered. Anyone have, have any more questions about stances? Yeah. No stupid questions. <laughs> there are no stupid questions. No, you just don't ask <laughs> bad questions. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So why why don't why don't you also uh, everyone who, who has like weapons or, or he, even if you don't why don't you just just sort of get into your stance to just spread out? What feels comfortable. That's one thing too. Like you have to get comfortable with the stance before yeah. you can even think about swinging the weapon. You have to feel good in your ability to move around. So if you want to get in front of a mirror or a partner or a shadow box, even without it. Everybody here's that pretty solid stance. Like. You guys really, you guys all seem to know that like whatever leg you have forward, especially your left leg, you keep it nice and defended. Uh, just keep that sword there because no matter what, that is a, a, like a second defense. Yeah. Like, it is the most important. Like, Aaron, you got it. Uh, don't let me get in there. And if I want to shoot down here, you don't have to swing your shield that way. Just shoot your hands like that. So if I'm going down. Just yeah. Uh, Arthur does a lot of weight on that side. Arthur does a lot of cutting down. Yeah, it's just really like, uh, you know, keep your weapon more like up in the air in this angle. Like, up in the air. Yeah, you have good like, uh, uh, the only thing you have to worry about is here. Like, your little, little thing. Yeah, if you just push out, you're going to watch my shots. Because you're from Ambling? Yeah, basically. And then if you go low, if I go lower, you grab your hand. I don't even have to push out unless I go lower. That's basically what it's like. And look at the here, you're of course block like that. Yeah, block that. Which is now all of a sudden it's much closer to uh, like no, said, just if I would shoot to my stance, I could probably make more than that. Switch to my shield. Yeah, it's just but, it's all about now that it's not here. Well, we here, we have a little more reach on my side. Yeah, there you go. It's easier to reach out. Even then, I don't think I really wouldn't probably do that so much because it's like, yeah, you might get stuck. Leave that shot open. You always try to keep a shield up. That way, so I can get a little yeah.